This is a brief tutorial outlining the functionality of two-dimensional tracking in Image Pro Plus. We begin with a 20-frame sequence of moving objects. Using the sequence toolbar, we navigate through our movie using the slider bar or the play and skip stop controls. First, we evaluate our image for uneven illumination and irregularities in the image. Noticing that we have reflection and shadowing, we want to demonstrate a simple flattening filter to equalize the background intensity surrounding our moving objects. Choosing a flattened filter, bright objects, and a feature width of 25, we will apply this filter to our sequence. Depending on the sample, the options are available to continue with more filters, such as sharpening or edge detection, in order to aid the tracking algorithm in tracking the objects correctly. We will choose a sharpened filter and apply this to our sequence. Next, we will choose an elliptical AOI to place around our objects. This is eliminating the moving objects outside of this region. Then choosing measure and track objects will open up the tracking tool. Image Pro contains superior 2D tracking options such as automatic tracking based on intensity, existing automatic track adding, correlation track adding, and intensity tracking. The manual tracking is also for complete control. We will choose find all tracks automatically and choose the intensity of the objects we want to track using a range of gray values in the powerful count size tool of Image Pro Plus. The peak of the histogram is our gray background. Our objects will be darker in a range of 0 to 1317. We'll close the range selection and use the count button. We will then choose to continue and verify that our object outlines are correct. If the answer is no, please choose no and adjust the threshold accordingly. But choosing yes automatically tracks each object through all the frames and displays the data for each tracked object in the data table. Click the Tracking Options button to view the selected measurements. We currently have four selected. However, a large number of options are available from the list above. Each measurement can be reported as individual values, as sums, minimums, maximums, means, and more. Choose your measurement and then click OK. Measurement statistics are also available from the Statistics button. And they'll show up at the bottom of your data table, providing 10 statistical measurements for each column of objects. Data in the data table can be easily sorted as well. Simply by clicking the top of each column sorts the data either up or down. Displaying only the relevant tracks can be accomplished by right-clicking and dragging on the table cells, and then choosing to hide selected tracks, hide unselected tracks, or show all tracks. We will hide the unselected tracks to view only the top 20 tracks with the largest sum distance. We could perform the same selection for tracks with a range with similar angular movement. Choosing these tracks, we will then play through the sequence showing the tail of the moving object across the image. Readjusting, reselecting, and showing only the selected objects, we can then show the opposite angle. We can then can display these tracks in our powerful tracking graphs, showing the accumulated distance, such as here, the accelerations, mean angle, and some distance. Please note that all graphs are actually interactive, allowing selection of the data table through selection of the graph itself. Lastly, all data or highlighted data can be easily exported into an Excel worksheet, also as a saved file or saved as a track for later use. If you have any further questions, please contact your local dealer, sales office, or technical support.